This is a child's painting, a very large painting. And when we zoom in, we can see that the sunbeams are parallel. In reality, the sunbeams are much, much more parallel than this image shows. Since the sun is about 150 million kilometers away from Earth. So how do the sunbeams look when hitting Earth? The sunbeams look like this. Very, very not parallel. You might now say that this is just the perspective. They are parallel. This is actually incorrect because the distance that the sunbeams travel in the sky is much, much smaller than the distance from the sun. If you haven't noticed, I'm making the argument that what we see isn't correct. Honestly, I'm expecting a bit of a perspective because of the fact that the clouds appear smaller when being further away. But the way that the sunbeams are warped are out of proportions. Since the sunbeams are parallel, and we assume that they are, uh, the clouds should also have the same perspective and they should be deformed in the same way. But oddly enough, the clouds are not. The clouds are not stretching out to the same degree as the sunbeams. To illustrate how the clouds should look, I made this animation. As you can see, the clouds looks like something you could expect when going into warp speed with a spaceship. Do you think this looks natural? Actually, this is perfectly correct if the sunbeams are parallel. This is an image of the same cloud from below. Once again, you see the sunbeams spreading out and the clouds seemingly unaffected by the perspective. This is not logical, natural or rational. After doing some photo editing, you can see here how the sunbeams should look. This would be natural, logical and everything would be fine. Let's introduce an observer. First of all, the position of the camera, where everything is fine. But logic and reasoning starts falling apart when we move the observer to the left. From there, the sun appears in the wrong position of the sky. And sun clocks that have been used throughout time cannot work. The same paradox occurs at any other position than in the middle. Diffraction happens when light moves through an optical thicker material. This would probably be the argument that someone would bring up to explain this behavior. The only problem is that when the sunbeams are bent, they are bent to a different degree depending on the frequency of the light, the color of the light. If this would be a plausible argument, it would also mean that we would have to see rainbows in our skies as the sunbeams are bent on the clouds. So why is this happening? First of all, there are no good explanations to this, but I will attempt to explain. The closest thing that I can find that explains this is a computer game engine. In a computer game engine, everything is made efficiently. In a graphical engine, there are many different layers of rendering. One of those layers is the background. The background is rendered on something called a skybox. Each person carries its own skybox that follows it as it moves around. It appears far away since when you try and move towards it, it doesn't get closer because it follows you. So 
the sun is rendered on that skybox. This is how you make an efficient computer game.